GitLab Duo self-hosted brings AI capabilities to high security and air-gapped environments. With this self-hosted architecture, you can make use of large language models to power Duo features in an isolated environment. GitLab Duo self-hosted architecture consists of multiple layers. At the bottom layer, we have the self-hosted foundation model. In this example, a Mistral model running on a GPU hardware served using VLLM. This will take care of the tasks such as code generation and completion. Moving up in the architecture, we have the AI Gateway. This layer ensures proper routing and communication between GitLab self-managed environment or a development IDE and the self-hosted model. Moving further up, the self-managed GitLab instance handles the orchestration of the AI features. This layer stores LLM's configurations, enables users to add and select supported models for each GitLab Duo feature. Additionally, it processes and provides the correct prompts based on both a specific GitLab Duo feature and the selected model we intend to use. And finally, at the top layer of our architecture, we have the user workstation where GitLab Duo features can be accessed through multiple entry points. In this demo, we will showcase the web IDE. Please follow the public documentation for up-to-date steps about how to set up and configure this infrastructure. Once you have completed the setup, adding a new model is a straightforward process. So let's add some models. In the admin area of your GitLab self-managed instance, under GitLab Duo self-hosted, you can view all registered models available for powering AI features. This view is showing me all the models that have been previously configured. If you are starting from scratch, this view will be empty. And when I click on AI Power Features, we get a view of the different AI capabilities and which models are being used to perform functions such as code generation or explain code. All right, let me show you how to register a self-hosted model for tasks such as code generation. First, we click on Add Self-Hosted Model. Then, we need to fill this form. You'll see different platform options, such as configuring using API that supports both VLLM and Azure OpenAI, and platforms such as Amazon Bedrock. Let's start with the API deployment method. From the Supported Model Families, select your desired model. Note that only GitLab pre-approved models are listed. Refer to the documentation for an updated description of the generally available model. Now here, we enter the URL where our model is deployed. For models hosted through VLLM, you must suffix the URL with a slash v1. We finish by giving this deployment a unique name, a model identifier. For this demo, I'll skip adding a key. And I'm ready to click on Create Model. As you can see, the model is now listed in the admin view. Now, let's add another model using a cloud-hosted deployment. We go back to our form, and let's give it a deployment name. And under Platform, we select Amazon Bedrock, choose the model family, and we fill in the model identifier by prefixing bedrock to the model ID. Let's test if our GitLab instance can reach the model using the connection test option. Great, the test succeeded. Now we can add the model. So I click on create self-hosted model again. And finally, let's navigate to the AI features list to configure which tasks each available model will perform. All right, so here, we have the list of AI power features. Let's keep Claude on Bedrock for code suggestions and use our Mistral model, the one we configured before, to explain code using Duo Chat. Now, I want to use GitLab Duo self-hosted with this project, where I am working on an application written in Python. And there is this issue open. It says I need to write a function to load config files. I want to work on this using GitLab Duo with the models we chose before. To do that, I will create a merge request. Then I will leverage the web IDE to achieve the main task described on the issue. 
this will be the channel that I will use to interact with our model. All right. Now I'm ready to prompt our model for this task. I give a brief description. And we can see here, Duo is working on it. I get the generated code and accept the suggestion. Let's commit these code changes. Okay, and now I would like to use Duo Chat powered by our own Mr. Model. I am going to ask it to explain code. Remember, that was the sub feature we configured. But first, let's open a script from the repository and then click on Duo Chat. Let's ask it to explain this code. All right, this is a solid explanation. Allows me to quickly get an idea what this Python script is about. Remember, this output is coming from our self-hosted model configured for this purpose. GitLab Duo Self-Hosted provides you with control and flexibility over your AI implementation. This approach ensures enhanced privacy and security, and you can start using it today.